Can you believe Christmas is only a few weeks away? How do you feel now when you look at your to-do list? Are you stressed? Overwhelmed? Okay, maybe even calm? We hope this study continues to create time and space for you to rest and refocus as you take a few moments to reflect on the reason for this season. This week, we'll focus on the word joy. Sometimes it's hard to be joyful when our house doesn't reflect the picture-perfect decorated homes we see on Pinterest and in our social media, or when our bank accounts are low, or when we have an empty seat around our Christmas table this year. Kayla, how can we be filled with joy when our circumstances look anything but joyful? Hi, friends. You know, I can remember a Christmas when my girls were little bitty and in the midst of diapers and sippy cups and chasing those babies, I was one exhausted mom. And I can remember the tree was only half decorated because, you know, new walking babies, they just pull all the bottom ornaments off anyway. And I had not wrapped a single Christmas gift or watched a single Christmas movie or baked a single Christmas cookie. And one evening I looked over at my husband and I said, I do not feel the Christmas magic. Maybe you are there too. Maybe this Christmas doesn't feel so joyful. But I wanna make a suggestion that changes the way we see joy. Because I don't believe joy is a feeling. Our feelings like happy or sad or stressed, we don't have complete control over those, do we? Because our feelings are very often linked to our circumstances. So when something goes well, I feel happy. When something goes bad, I feel sad. But joy is not found in circumstances. Joy is found in a person. In fact, I truly believe that real joy is only found in Jesus. And because joy is not a feeling and it doesn't depend on our circumstances, but on Jesus inside of us, then that means joy is present no matter what is going on around us. In fact, I want to suggest to you that true joy stands out the most when life is hard. This is when we see joy the clearest, when it doesn't seem to make sense. And the only possible answer is Jesus in me. So what does this look like? When we have peace, when the rest of the world is screaming panic, that's joy. When you find an inward strength you didn't know you had because you are feeling really weak right now, joy. Joy is a light that refuses to go out when we feel covered in darkness. Joy is being able to see beauty where the rest of the world can only see ashes. Friends, when the rest of the world is falling apart, you are not because you are standing on the rock that is Christ. That, that is joy. It's not being afraid anymore. And there's only one way that we can have this. And it's by keeping our eyes on the source, on Jesus. Philippians 4.4, 4, one of my favorite verses, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Always. That means we can have joy when we feel happy, but it also means we can have joy when we feel sad or stressed or tired because joy is not a feeling. Joy is the peace and strength and light and beauty and security that only comes from knowing Jesus. So how can you remember joy this week? For our moment of reflection, I would like to just encourage you to light a candle this week, any candle, a Christmas candle, and let this candle remind you of Jesus, the light of the world, and let it remind you that Jesus is joy and joy shines brightest when it's dark. Have a great week, friends. Joy, I love this word. And Kayla, I love the idea of lighting a candle to remember what this word really means. Kayla said it beautifully, you are standing on the rock that is Christ. That is joy. It's not being afraid anymore. 
And there's only one way we can have this. It's by keeping our eyes on the source of joy, Jesus. We pray that with each week we've spent together, you've been fixing your eyes on Jesus more and more, soaking in God's word more and more, because, say it with me, when we know the truth and live the truth, it changes everything. Thank you.